What would you do in your free time if you were super duper rich? We're talking so rich that you lose respect for humanity and the ability to say please and thank you. Think impolite rich, rude rich. And no hunting human beings for sport is not an acceptable answer. Having a hobby brings more than personal satisfaction to our lives. By learning new skills and rediscovering forgotten talents, you can improve your physical, mental, and emotional health. Your imagination is severely limited by your wallet. It's time to dream bigger, to think grander. But it can be hard to do. We're so used to working that dead-end 9-to-5 job and being constantly tired and worn out that we have forgotten how to imagine the possibilities given enough time and virtually limitless resources. Come on, you can do better than having a cup of tea, painting your toenails, and watching Netflix. Be creative! Welcome to the lavish list, your peek into the crazy life of the wealthy. And these are the top 10 luxury hobbies you can't afford. But whoa, 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 hold up a minute. Before we get started, you better not forget to give us a like, smash that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell. You never want to miss one of our awesome videos. Okay, now where were we? Make sure you stick around till the end of our video to check out our number one pick. It'll surprise you. Number 10 getting in touch with your inner caveman. There is something undecidedly macho about stalking and hunting your prey. It's also a very fulfilling pastime, one that gets you in touch with your more base and primal urges. Not many people know this, but there is a very humane aspect to hunting, dispatching your quarry in a clean, quick, and painless way. Preparing the meat and using all of the animals the ultimate respect you can give it. After all, it gave its life to sustain the lives of you and your family. It comes as no surprise then that the ultra-rich love big game hunting. It takes some serious funds to set yourself up with all the gear you need for a successful hunt. Guardians of the Galaxy star Chris Pratt is absolutely obsessed with hunting big buck elk. His fascination started when he moved to Utah back in 2003 to film the TV series Everwood. Big Diesel himself Shaquille O'Neal made an absolute ton of money shattering backboards in the NBL. He also loves to host Shaq Faris, where he hunts goats and wild boar with his buddies. Number 9. Horsing Around When you think of hobbies for the rich, polo is one of the first things that comes to mind. If you take a step back and look at it from another point of view, this game is actually pretty terrifying. You hurtle down a field on horseback, swinging what is essentially a wooden mallet on a very long stick, trying to hit a ball into a goal, all the while dodging other maniacal stick-wielding riders. A polo pony will set you back a cool quarter of a million dollars. Your average Joe has no chance at getting into this elitist sport. And this equine sport has been in their blood for hundreds of years. It's a proud family tradition. But the biggest shock is a champion polo player you may know from the only mildly popular films Rocky and Rambo. That's right, Sylvester Stallone. The Italian stallion loves nothing more than to ride a stallion and chase that ball around his own private polo field in his luxury mansion. Look at those arms. Number 8. When is a boat not a boat anymore? Is there anything that shows off opulence and wealth more than owning a mega yacht? The answer we're looking for is no, there isn't. Just renting one of these enormous pleasure craft can cost $50,000 per day, and buying even a small 170-foot vessel will set you back a cool $50 million. Well, out of the price range of everyone except the very select, richest few. Russian billionaire Roman Abramovich owns the Eclipse, less of a yacht and more like his own private cruise liner. This thing is massive. It is not one, but two helipads to accompany its two swimming pools, 24 guest bedrooms, disco dance floor, and even a mini submarine, cause why not? It is worth $1.5 billion dollars and comes fitted with a private defense system including missile detection sensors, armor plating, and bulletproof windows. Not to be outdone, Malaysia's richest man had the 100-foot-long 
History Supreme built using 10,000 kilograms of solid gold and platinum with a Tyrannosaurus Rex bone statue and wall made from meteorites. It cost a staggering $4.8 billion. Now that is a flex. Number 7. Wine Connoisseur Every mansion should have a wine cellar, with chilled and room temperature areas, of course. Collecting rare booze is just something you do when you decide you have too much money, and buying ridiculously overpriced things will be your new hobby. Some rare bottles found in shipwrecks on the ocean floor have sold at auction for over a quarter of a million dollars. These are the ones you don't dare open and drink, and would likely taste absolutely revolting. The ultimate way to show off your love of wine, however, is to run a vineyard of your very own. Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie bought a $60 million estate and winery in Provence, southern France. This verdant plot produces exquisite vintages, making the top 100 wines list and selling out in just 5 short hours. Number 6 Excuse me, do you have the time? Rolex, Omega, Patek Philippe. These are just some brands of luxury watch that I'll never see wrapped around my wrist. Buying a vintage watch is almost like buying stock in Microsoft and Google. You just know that the value will always go up, up, up. Some watch collections are almost as famous as their owners, however. John Mayer's watch collection is nearly as famous as his legendary guitar skills, soothing vocals, and notorious tomcat habits as he breaks the hearts of celebrity women who can't tame him. His bank vault contains a vast array of collectibles, including sapphire-encrusted gold Rolexes and Luftwaffe watches from World War II that he has said is valued in the tens of millions. Wow. Number 5. I'll take one of your best arts, please. For stunning and exceeding rare pieces of art to exist, it has to have value. Because they are worth so much, they attract the eye of the wealthy who see collecting priceless art as a way to show off their incredibly lavish lifestyles. Christine and Andrew Hall founded the Hall Art Foundation in 2007 with the stated goal of making post-war and contemporary artworks from their own collection accessible to the public. Their collection consists of over 5,000 works, among them pieces by Richard Arschwager, George Baselitz, Joseph Bury, Olafur Eliasson, Eric Fischel, A. R. Penck, Julian Schnabel, Ed Ruscha, Andy Warhol, and Franz West. They even purchased the 1,000-year-old Castle Schloss Sternberg in Germany to house some of their collection, which spans two continents. That's commitment to the cause. Number 4. Fancy Around Now we know that playing a round of golf is something that anyone can do. There are loads of places you can play 18 holes on a summer's day with a few cold frosty ones. There is no doubt though that it is the sport of choice amongst billionaires however. A membership to some exclusive clubs can exceed $300,000. For the ultimate power play, why not just build a course for your own private use? That way no one will be ruining your expertly manicured greens with divots or wrecking those perfectly raked sand traps. Mark Wahlberg had the right idea when he built a golf course of his very own to accompany his 30,000 square foot Californian mansion. He can play with his friends anytime, then cool off in his own private water park straight after. Number 3. Leaving on a Jet Plane There is nothing worse than the queues at the airport. All that waiting around, it's just so boring. Even moderately successful people get to have their own private jet. A Gulfstream is the new Bentley. Everyone has one. But do you have a fleet of passenger aircraft at your disposal? John Travolta does, and he is certified to fly them too. His home has not one, but two runways that lead directly to his front door. The mansion is designed to accommodate small jets so the family can leave at a moment's notice. The largest of his five plane collection is a restored Boeing 707 passenger jet, 
that originally ferried people through the skies with Australian company Cantus. In the ultimate gesture of goodwill, he returned it down under to be put on display in the Historical Aircraft Restoration Society Museum. Good guy, John. Number 2. See my whips, yo. There is just one name that comes to mind when you think insane car collector. You don't even need to drive a car to appreciate it. Especially true for this man, and we would put money on the fact that he has never once sat behind the wheel. The Sultan of Brunei is the biggest car collector in the world, bar none. He has a net worth of $20 billion. His collection of 7,000 vehicles includes more than 250 BMWs, 574 Mercedes-Benz, 452 Ferraris, 179 Jaguars, 382 Bentleys, 134 Conan Segs, a slew of Lamborghinis, as well as a number of limited edition concept cars that were made especially for him, such as the Ferrari Mythos, Bentley Java, and Porsche Karma. When you have enough spare change to afford solid gold and diamond encrusted bathrooms, buying a couple thousand cars for yourself is like a drop in the ocean. And number one, big money thrill seeking. Cigarette boats were originally used to smuggle illegal goods across the Caribbean and into the US, hence the name. They are well loved by the uber rich who race them not for prize money, but for ultimate bragging rights and purely egotistical satisfaction. They can hit speeds of over 135 miles per hour on the open water, which is complete bonkers considering they are made from carbon fiber and fiberglass. Very few walk away from a high velocity crash in one of these death traps. You won't get much change out of a million dollars when you buy one. The sport being made famous by multi-millionaire Don Arno in the 70s and 80s, winning over 350 offshore races and was the two-time world champion and three-time US champion. I feel the need. The need for speed. And that just about wraps things up for today. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give us a like and let us know in the comments exactly what you would do if you were filthy filthy rich. We would love to hear from you, so tell us. Remember to smash that subscribe button and share this video if you want more ultra luxury videos just like this one. This has been The Lavish List. You stay classy YouTube.